Hello everybody, welcome to the video today. Um, <clears throat> I will still try to race for you guys. We'll see if I can qualify or not. I think that that'll be the video today, but um, yeah, I'm here to address a little bit of uh, just a little different things going around. I don't know why I'm taking this line. So basically, I woke up at 1146. It's obviously not ideal. And then I completely forgot it's Friday. My life has kind of been a little upside down recently, I'd say. It's not like anything flipped it upside down uh, just being sick and just so far off the normal for me uh so i mean i was on a great schedule i was on you know doing everything great and getting everything done that i needed to get done until i got sick and then i ended up doing something and it kind of didn't hurt mentally but it kind of switched things up and um yeah i guess just trying to tell you guys right now that Headspace probably is a little bit clouded right now and mentally not really feeling great and then physically not feeling good at all Went to go play basketball today. Probably not the smartest decision, but uh, yeah, that didn't hold up either um, I was winded after we got three points, so it was not great. Um, anywho That will be uh, all said before we hop in the video, but let's see if I can qualify for a um uh, a pro race well at massive disadvantages aka starting uh, I'm not gonna try to get used to that on but I'm starting I basically hopped on this is probably my 10th or so lap so I hopped on around 10 or 2 225 somewhere around there so uh, yeah very little time and uh, still haven't even registered so I gotta go do that and then yeah hopefully we are chilling and uh, hopefully we can make it into tonight no no confidence really but I guess we'll have to see. All right, I'm loading into my practice. We'll have a 10 minute or yeah, we'll have 10 minutes of practice and then qualifying starts. I think that's for 20 minutes. So wish me the best of luck. I'll give you guys some updates and I'll let you guys know where I'm at. Obviously, you guys know me with the stock setup. We're about to head into qualifying and uh, I guess I got to focus up and really try hard. So um, <clears throat> yeah, and yes, I'm doing this without Max HUD. So I mean, sue me, but I'm really struggling right now. Oh my god, my sickness just came right through my voice. You guys can probably tell like crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm struggling like crazy, especially getting the lap started. And then actually the dragon's back. I think you guys all know what I'm talking about if you guys have seen content on this track. Dragon's back is probably giving me a bit of trouble right now too. Right now I'm P4 in my session, but I highly doubt that that would be good enough for the... Uh, main event just because of how the quality of the lap was so we'll see if we can up that so i mean i guess let's try to put down a, a heater uh i don't try to qual or i don't qualify real well and that's always been my issue but my racing's always been better than my speed I bested my lap to a 55.9, it was a 56, I can't remember, I think it was a 56.7, so bettered my lap close to a second, 
and it still didn't move me up the board to p3 or anything like that but i'm glad i was able to get into the 55s at least i don't know what it is to kind of you know not win but get in at least and wow that's kind of how this is going yeah i think that the 55 9 is gonna have to stay i think 20 minutes is coming up like i said i don't have max hut on so i can't tell but i think that we are pretty much getting there i think we're getting close to being done at least i am ended up p4 you have to be top 40 so we'll see what that all looks like i don't know if i'll get in i'm not real confident but being p4 in the session is a big i mean plus for how bad i thought i was so uh yeah, I don't know. Good confidence booster at least. I think we're done here, and I ended up right here at a 55.9. Not good looking at a 53.2, but that is cam, so can't really uh, complain too much. But yeah, we'll see if we made it. I'll let you guys know. So unfortunately, didn't make it in. I mean, I'm not going to say I didn't want to make it in, but it was definitely on my mind that I wouldn't. And so I kind of already made plans. Like, make a movie, like watch a movie, watch, you know what I'm saying? Anywho. Yeah, didn't make it in. I'm not too worried because, I mean, it is what it is, really. So, it really is what it is. And how much time I spent, I'm pretty happy with the results I got, I should say. So, I think that's a, a good way to put it. And uh, I'm not going to quite leave you guys now. I'm going to kind of give you guys a grand thought on the track right here. I really think that, um, I don't really know what could change, but the track doesn't need a change. The track creator doesn't need a change. I just can't put my finger on it, but there's definitely something like off with the track. It's not the whoops. I just don't know. I just feel like it's probably not my style of a track, but I don't know. It's like these right here where you have to like really close in as close as you can and still like make a good one right there. I don't know. And then like this, obviously really dumb section to make any sort of fast line different through there. You know what I mean? Like to make it so close and put together is crazy and i'm sure we're gonna see some different lines here uh but once again this track is definitely themed for a more big bike to be having fun on and then other than that you're really just pushing through it and then i watched lynn's race on the deformation and you want this championship to be realistic well it's not even close to realistic are you kidding like the races we've seen this year i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say that we're predicting for tampa which should be kind of rainy actually if we're trying to predict but uh so i heard but um yeah i don't know i, I saw like deformation people were struggling to make it even around the track without crashing for a lap but that's just not what happens in real life so i'm not sure you know where ariel's head's at not trying to diss him i'm not trying to stir up any more controversy I'm just trying to say that I don't know if they want to keep it realistic, uh, what they're doing, keeping the deformation to the point where on the last lap of a 20 minute main event, you're barely like you're barely making it like a lap without dying on these pretty big lines. So I don't know. It's it's a bit different in my mind, I guess, because I'm not really that experienced. So it might not bug the guys racing, but in my opinion, if you want to try to keep it real, try to keep it. Uh, nice for the riders. I mean, the deformation probably needs to be turned down even more than just point three. Maybe even I don't know if point fifteen would be quite your answer, but you've got these four fifty guys, and you've got a full lobby of them, and twenty minutes of racing is going to absolutely chew up the track. So I don't know. I'm not saying that you guys are in the wrong, or if Ariel's in the wrong, or anything like that, but. I definitely think that if you're going for realism, you messed up. You're not getting that. And um, I don't know. I guess my thought on it is just that. So um, once again, not trying to co uh, cause any controversy. Just kind of saying what, you know, my mind is on the whole thing. Like if you're trying to be realistic, I don't think that you're doing a great job of it. And simply that is not a... a insult i mean you can take it as one if you want to but it's not an insult it's kind of constructive criticism if you really look at it that way it really just depends on the way you look at it and uh, i'm trying not to inflict any pain i'm trying not to uh not beat around the bush or anything like that i'm pretty straightforward i'm a, I'm a pretty straightforward person 
uh, where in, in some regards for sure, but uh, others, you know, whatever. And I know you're, oh, it's all behind a screen. You wouldn't say that to their face. I, I bet I would. I, I would actually potentially put money on it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know where this video has gone anymore, but hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me try to uh, qualify for a pro race. Obviously, it's a bit tough when you only have about, I don't know, not, not too much time on the track. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to say that I had like hours. I probably had a total of an hour uh, or two on the track. Hour or two. No, no. Hour and maybe like hour 20 minutes tops on the track before qualifying. And then qualifying really put it to probably an hour 45. So, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a bit rough having that much time and still... I was 0.3 seconds off qualifying, so still kind of happy about that. So it gives me some good confidence. But yeah, I, I don't think that I would have, uh, you know, enjoyed racing anyways. I already had my head set on something else. Still kind of sick. Still kind of nurturing it. So kind of wanted to go watch a movie and uh, just kind of rest for the rest of the day. I was out playing basketball today. Probably wasn't my my finest moments. So or my my finest ideas. And um, yeah, I'm really sweaty right now, if you guys must know. I'm, I, I don't even want to, like, touch on that. Anywho, that is all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, enjoy the process, and uh, hopefully you guys did too. Leave a like if you did, and consider subscribing completely free. You can unsubscribe anytime. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's my only message for you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Or hopefully tomorrow because I upload daily. So, got to keep them coming. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll see me tomorrow. And if not, uh, oh well.